Hi everybody, this is Blossom and today I have the next poem for you. So today all about Heather or Ur and we associate this poem with the time of the summer solstice. The letter is U and the animals associated with it are bees, lion and skylark and the colors are purple, red and white. Now let's go to the law and legends. The word Heather is Freyr, which means furry and wrathful, and Freyr is also the name of a warrior of the Tuatha de Dana. He had a powerful and fiery lineage, as he was the son of the hero Cucullan and the lady of the Shi, the otherworldly Aoife. There are other sources that state that his mother was Queen Maeve and she is notorious for her sexual appetites and erotic nature. And Freyr is connected with warriorhood and sexual energy, the rhythms of life and death. The next stage in the journey after the fierce warlike energy of life and death is Ur, the new, a return to the earth. The sexual energy is not just about individuals, but we have to look at it on a planetary scale. In the external cycle of life, death and decay, new life is nourished and sustained. We see this as much on the forest floor as we see it in human lives, when the lessons, those many lives and death of our ancestors, provide context, meaning and support to our own. The energy that moves the leaves from the trees and feeds the ravens upon carcass in the same which brings new life to the world, upon that life to the underworld and returned it to the soil, transformed into a source of new life once more. This is sexual energy in one of its mirrored forms, the very impulse of life itself. The purple flowers of the heather are said to be stained from the blood of fallen warriors, like Freyr himself. Our Asian dead are said to dwell in the barrow mounds and tumuli scattered across the British and Irish landscapes, but also this is also in other countries we can find burial mounds. So their bones lying within whilst their spirits feast in otherworldly halls. Heather often grows upon burial mounds. Cucullan refers to this when he calls Ur the grave and the shroud of a lifeless one. New life is fed from the death of the old. It is the growing of plants from the soil nourished by crop of the past. Heather is also associated with bees that swarm around it and produce honey from its nectar. The spiritual importance of the bees is a worldwide and ancient phenomenon, often connecting the plant with numerous goddesses, teaching many lessons on our erotic, primal state, community and fertility. The importance of bees to the fertilization of crops and the survival of the environment as a whole was always known. But the modern world is only, begin, is only now beginning to regain the understanding and respect that Earth deserves. So maybe you yourself could do something to help the bees. You could plant different flowers that attract the bees around your house, on your balcony, or just on your window sills. This could be, of course, of course, heather, or sunflowers, or fennel, thyme, aster, marigold, primulas, and there are many, many more. Um, and often the flowers, when you go into garden flowers, often there the flowers are marked with a sign that they are attracting bees. So why not try it? <laughs> Um, the thread upon which our lives travel is similar to notions of the great web, the strands of destiny woven by the Norns in Nordic mythology. 
It was said that the thread of our lives was spun before we were even born and is cut by the crone goddess when it is time for us to die and our energy takes a new form. The thread passes from the spiritual realm into manifest reality and back again, only to continue weaving between the worlds, one life form and the next. Heather's connection with the threads and the flow of life is so strong that it encourages us to make the right decisions and follow the right direction through our lives. So bad luck can be considered the opposite of this. Those moments when our inner balance and innate connection to the universe is out of harmony. Then the restoration of our lives requires awareness to see the problem with Scott's spine that we already saw. Then the correction and clearing with gauze from last time, last week and the restoration of flow along the path of our destiny, facilitated by Heather. Life in all its forms blossoms and moves along natural rhythms when balanced between life and death. We may also think about uh, our relationships which is other when the flow between giving and receiving and the individual and collective is in balance healing and wholeness follows. When this flow develops harm harmoniously between individu uh, individuals, love is the result. Between couples, it, um, between couples, it becomes sexual and soulful love. The journey between one life to the next continues as one generation conceives and gives birth to the next. Heather functions as a gateway between the worlds. It is the flow between our conscious and unconscious selves. There we go. Let's move on to the magical uses. So Heather is said to ignite fairy passions and open portals between their world and our own. Heather represents solitude because it thrives in wide open spaces and fairies who enjoy living in such undisturbed places are said to feast on the tender stalks of heather. The fairies of this flower are especially attracted to shy people. Heather is also used to contact your spirit guides or it can also be used for spells calling the earth goddess. Bridget is another goddess you can work with while using heather as she has many bee and heather associations. Uh, for example, use the flowers and scatter them around your sacred space or burn it as an incense and then call upon the goddess Bridget. Charms made with white heather can be worn or carried as protection against danger, rape and other violent crimes. You can also wear it in order to tune in and harness empowered feminine energy. When you sleep on a pillow stuffed with this magic herb, it can bring dreams foretelling good fortune. If burned outside with fern, it brings rain. Heather is also used to conjure ghosts, so to do so, place a sprig of white heather in a special place of silence and meditation. After picking a piece of white heather at midnight, place it in a glass of river water in the darkest corner of your home. Sit and think of a departed loved one and it is said that the loved one's shadow will visit you. Heather is both helpful to those who shapeshift as well as protective against harmful shifters. You can burn it as an incense while meditating on inner healing or if you want to gather your thoughts or find the passion in your life. And it is also said that apple trees bear much more fruit when growing near heather. There we go, that's for the, the magical uses. And now we go over to the healing part. 
An infusion of the flowering shoots is used in the treatment of coughs, colds, bladder, bladder and kidney disorders, cystitis, etc. Heather is a cleansing and detoxifying plant. It has been used in the treatment of rheumatism, atritis and gout. The flowering stems are harvested in the autumn and dried for later use. It is also said that it is good for insomnia and I personally have a little sleeping pillow and heather is in it and lavender and, and lemon ball and other stuff as well so I quite like it. <laughs> as a vibrational essence it can help those who are always seeking the companionship of anyone who may be available as they find it necessary to discuss their own affairs with others, no matter whom it may be. I'm sure everybody knows somebody like that. <laughs> it can also be helpful for people that worry over the troubles of others, not the big things of life, but the affairs of every day. It, is, uh, it also helps those who need too much attention and may be self-centered or selfish. It is also good for talkativeness, as excessive talkativeness can be seen as a form of purging, an attempt to restore the flow by using words to push the energy along. This, unfortunately, can create yet another pattern of stuck energy as we, fo as we focus only on what has hurt or disturbed us. Heather's essence repairs the threats and flow, it restores harmony and our relationships with the world and each other. It does that by being a great comforter, nurturing and encouraging. Heather is also good for healing the sense of the feminine, restoring a sense of respect and empowerment for feminine energy. Right now. Going to the last part, the divination meaning. So, as you can guess, heaven may indicate that now is a time for healing. Do not permit yourself further stress. Other things can wait now. Focus to go into your inner being to heal. Weave your inner soul together with your outer self to become whole again. Heather represents luck and an entry point to the inner worlds. It encourages us to reconnect with ourselves and each other. We are encouraged to follow our passion and desire. When you get Heather in a reading, it could also indicate a certain comfort in your life. The comfort that comes when you feel the sun upon your face, when you listen to the singing of the birds, a sweetness in your life. You're feeling blessed. Enjoy the time for what it is and don't take anything for granted. On the opposite, it could also indicate that something which comforts you has been taken away. If so, do not despair, for it will be returned or renewed, as Heather also indicates renewal. Um, the never-ending cycle through seasons, lifetimes, birth and death is an internal dance with life itself. We are reminded that we are connected by the web of life and also the web itself. We are the web itself, the conduit through which other forms also travel through time and space as we do. Heather encourages us to be children of the universe beginning, ending and beginning again, opening up to the kindness and comfort of the Divine. Ur reminds us that if we simply follow what feels comfortable and wholesome, only goodness follows. We have to trust our luck, then we open ourselves in innocence to the bounty of the universe and that makes us lucky. New doors of opportunity are open and spirit is allowed to lend a hand. We become more confident and positive and our lives are filled with ease and playfulness. It could also indicate that there is romance in the air uh, or, or that your dreams are about to come to fruition. There we go. 
And that's everything I have for the Heather. I hope this was helpful. And as always, you can find exactly this text as, uh, on my homepage, link in the description box. Otherwise, you can have much more information in the book by Danu Forrest, the book Celtic Tree Magic. Um, I have the information also on my homepage because it's a fantastic book and every time I read it, I leave so much out. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to decide what to take and what not. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Much love and many blessings and bye-bye.